Hey guys, welcome to VTechacademy.com, and here in this presentation, we are going to discuss about extreme values of trigonometric functions. We have already discussed that for any angle theta belongs to r minus one less than or equal to sine theta less than or equal to one. That is nothing but sine theta always lies between minus one to one, and we also know that sine pi by two is equal to one. And sine of minus pi by two will be equal to minus one. So hence, the maximum and the minimum values of sine theta are respectively one and minus one as theta ranges over r. So hence, maximum and minimum values of sine theta are one and minus one, and each of them is called as an extreme value of the sine theta. So hence, we can say that one and minus one. Are the maximum and the minimum values of cos theta as theta ranges over r. And now let us try to get a formula to find the maximum and minimum value of trigonometric functions. So in order to find a formula, let us try to prove a theorem. That is, if a comma b comma c belongs to r such that a square plus b square is not equal to zero, then the maximum And the minimum values of a sine x plus b cos x plus c are respectively c plus under root a square plus b square and c minus under root a square plus b square over r. So now let us define f of x is equal to a sine x plus b cos x plus c for all x belongs to r. And now let us put the values of a equal to r cos theta. And b equal to r sine theta, where r equal to under root a square plus b square, and then by substituting the values of a and b in the function f of x, we get here f of x is equal to r cos theta into sine x plus r sine theta into cos x plus c. And here by writing r as the common factor. We get here cos theta into sine x plus sine theta into cos x plus c. So we already know the formula for this. That is, cos a sine b plus sine a cos b is equal to sine a plus b. So now let us write this in the form of sine a plus b by just replacing a with theta and b with x. So here by replacing, we get r into Sine a, that is sine theta plus b, which is x, plus c here, and we already discussed that sine theta lies between minus one and one. That is minus one less than or equal to sine theta less than or equal to one. So let us assume theta plus x as theta, and we know that minus one is less than or equal to sine theta plus x less than or equal to one. And then replacing one with r, so we get here minus r less than or equal to sine theta plus x less than or equal to r. And then adding c to all the terms, so we get here c minus r less than or equal to c plus r sine theta plus x less than or equal to c plus r. So here we already know that r is equal to under root a square plus b square. And then let us replace r with under root a square plus b square. So here by replacing, we get c minus under root a square plus b square less than or equal to c plus sine theta plus x less than or equal to c plus under root a square plus b square. So hence, the maximum and the minimum values of f over r are respectively c plus under root a square plus b square. And c minus under root a square plus b square. So hence, this was the basic introduction on extreme values of trigonometric functions. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy dot com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.